Well, hello everybody and welcome to the first tutorial on circles. The objective in this first tutorial is to graph a circle from standard form and general form. The first thing I'd like to start with is the sheet that's going to have all of our conic sections. So if you can take that out, we're going to be filling out the very first row of this sheet. The first conic section we're looking at is the circle. That's when you take a cone and slice the cone with a plane where the plane is parallel to the base of the cone. When you do that, the two-dimensional figure that will, will result is the circle. We all know what the sketch of a circle looks like. That's not too bad. The standard form for a circle is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. We're going to look at this in a little bit more detail uh, later on this tutorial. Applications of circles are endless. You, you can hardly look anywhere without seeing a circle. Um, obviously, the wheels on your car, gears, uh, clocks, anything that's circular. If you um, uh, throw a pebble into a pond, you'll see concentric circles rippling out um, like that and, and, and circular waves like that. Okay, so let's move on to the definition of a circle. A circle is the set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a given point called the center. Equidistant means the same distance. So we're talking about all the points in a plane, that means on your two-dimensional piece of paper right now, that are exactly the same distance from a given point called the center. That would generate all of the points on a circle. I would like to ask a bonus question here. And if we take out these three words from our definition, we take out the words in a plane, then what figure are we talking about? If we just say the set of all points that are equidistant from a given point called the center, would anybody know what we're talking about here? We'd be talking about a sphere. Ah. Yes, if we do not restrict ourselves to the plane and we're talking about three dimensions, then the uh, set of all points total that are given, that are away from a center, equidistant, would be called a sphere. But we are restricting ourselves in this chapter to a plane. So we're talking about a piece of paper, two dimensions. Um, so there we go. Any segment whose endpoints are on the center and the circle would be called a radius. So there's two main points for a circle. There's the center and there's the radius. Let me give you the two definitions, or excuse me, the two equations. We already talked about standard form. Let's write it again. X minus H quantity squared plus Y minus K quantity squared is equal to R squared. Again, there's really only two important parts to our circle. There's the center and the center is going to always be an ordered pair. And from our standard form, that ordered pair will be H K. H comes from the parentheses where the X is. K comes from the parentheses where the Y is. Notice that the signs in our standard form are subtraction. So watch out when you're trying to find the H. If you see X minus 7, then H is 7. If you see X plus 10, then H would be negative 10. That's the only way that you could get a plus there. And the radius of course, is what r is. Now, notice again in your standard form that it's the radius squared. So we'll have to take the square root of this before we can find what the radius is. So this is our standard form and the two main pieces that can come from that. When we look at general form, the general form for any conic section is ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus d, y, plus e, all equal to zero, okay? A, B, C, D, and E are all real numbers. This is the general form for any conic section. What will make this general form be a circle is when A and B are exactly the same, and they cannot be equal to zero. So when the coefficients of your x squared term and your y squared term are exactly the same numbers, then you must have a circle. This will make a little bit more sense when we get into other tutorials in this chapter with the other three conic sections. So that's your general form, all set equal to zero. We like the terms to be the quadratic terms come first, 
xy, and then the linear terms come second, xy, and then any constant that you have, all equal to zero. That's your general form. So let's graph a couple first. Both of these circles are in standard form already. We already have our x squared uh, quantity, our y squared quantity equal to 16. So the first thing I want to pick off is what our center is. It's an ordered pair. The h comes from our x quantity, and in this case, basically we're trying to figure out what x has to be to make this quantity 0. So x would have to be 3. 3 minus 3 would be 0, so h is 3. What would y have to be to make this quantity 0, and y would have to be 2? So that's why our center is going to be 3, 2. Our radius is going to be the square root of 16, and the square root of 16, of course, is 4. When we graph this, the first point we want to plot is 3, 2. So I'm going to go to my graph paper and go over 3 and up 2, put a dot. And then since my radius is 4, I want to go 4 units away in all directions. The easiest directions are up, down, left, and right. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4 from the center. I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4 from the center. I'm going to go to the right 1, 2, 3, 4 from the center. I'm going to go left 1, 2, 3, 4 from the center. It, that, those are the easiest ways to go 4 units. And then I'm just going to be careful to connect this all into a nice circle trying to make it as round as possible. And that's a pretty good sketch of our circle. When we look at this second one, again, it's already in standard form, so it should be pretty easy to find our center. Let's first find the value of h. h comes from the x quantity. This time, x would have to be a negative 4 to make this quantity 0. That's why h is a negative 4. And in this case, it doesn't even look like we have a value of k. But there has to be a value of k. And you want to think of this as y minus 0 quantity squared so that you can see that k is 0 this time. Because there always has to be a value there. Radius, in this case, radius squared is 25, so therefore the radius of this circle is 5. Plotting these points, we go to negative 4, 0. That's to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, and stop. And then we're going to go up, down, left, and right, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those four points should be enough for us to connect the points into a nice curved circle. You will get better at this as you practice. Try not to go straight to the point, then it'll look like more like a, a rhombus, and uh, that's not too bad. So we've graphed two circles. That is the end of this tutorial. I hope you had a good time there.